This is going to be a tutorial on modifying Dragon Ball Z Kakarot to work on ultra wide displays because it's 2020 and these things still don't work. But luckily, there's a great community called WSGF on Reddit as well as Discord. Uh, that stands for Widescreen Gaming Forum, which was the old website. Uh, and there are also some people working on this uh, on the Steam Community Forum. So these fixes came from there. I believe I have all of the right values and I am here to show you guys how to implement them. So it should be pretty easy. I have not done it yet, so we're gonna go ahead and find out if it works together. Now, first, you're gonna to want to download a hex editing program such as HXD, and I'm gonna go ahead and link that in the description below. After that, you've got that downloaded, you go ahead and run it, keep it to the side, minimize it, whatever you wanna do. Uh, from there, you're gonna to wanna to navigate to the install directory for Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. In my case, it's C, program files x86, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, and then from there, you're gonna to want to go to uh, the AT folder, and then the binaries folder, and then the Win64 folder, and you're gonna find AT Win64 shipping.exe. Uh, go ahead and make a copy of this, just in case something gets screwed up along the way, uh, and I'm sure it, it may, because that's, that's the way I operate. So I went ahead and copied it to my desktop for now. Now from there, something important is you're gonna to want to right click on that file before we do anything with it, go to properties, from there, you're gonna to wanna to go to the security tab on the top and make sure that all permissions are allowed. This way, when we edit the file, we have no problem saving it. Uh, now in the middle here, you'll see it says to change permissions, click edit. So we'll click on edit. Make sure all of these boxes are checked here, uh, or as many as you can. I went down the whole list and did it just in case, just to cover all bases. It's probably overkill, but uh, that's that. Once that's done, click apply. I've already done it, and then okay, and then okay again. From there, you'll want to want to drag this exe file into hxd, and you're going to find a ton of values popping up. Now, currently, this is working at 2560 by 1080, 3440 by 1440, and 3840 by 1600. If you're using a different resolution, go ahead and check out those communities or reach out to somebody, and I'm sure uh, someone's going to be able to help out with the correct values for your resolution but for now we've got those three now you're going to want to search for this value right here 3b 8e ef 3f so you want to copy and paste it keep the spaces in it go back to hxd at the top click on search and then find or press Control f now something very important is you're going to be on this screen right here it's going to be the text string tab you want to change that to the hex values tab because that's what we're looking for Paste that in, leave the spaces, just make sure there's nothing before or after it, so everything looks good. I like to click on all just in case, and then I like to search all over here. And there it is, that's the value we need to change right there. So go back into uh, where you've got these values pasted, could be in the, in the description below or in a notepad. And you're gonna wanna choose uh, the corresponding value for your resolution. So in my case, I'm using 3440 by 1440. I'm going to go ahead and copy this value right here, go back into HXD, paste it. It should paste cleanly right over there, and to indicate that it pasted, it's going to turn red. So that's the first fix. That's to get rid of the black bars on the left and right sides of the screen. Uh, from there, we want to fix the FOV as well, which is the field of view. If you don't fix the field of view, you might be too far zoomed in or too far zoomed out, and the game's not going to look or feel right. So. For that, we're gonna find this value here, which is 35 fa 0 e 3 c Go ahead and paste that into text values again in HXD, search all. So there's the culprit right there. We're gonna to wanna to go back into the notepad and depending on if you're using 21 by nine or 32 by nine, uh, you're either gonna to wanna to copy and paste this value here or this value here. So. Uh, I'm using 3440 by 1440, which is 21 by 9. So I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste this value here. Back in HXD, paste it, and that's it. From there, you want to go to File, Save. During backup creation, the following error occurs. System error, code 5, access is denied. Save anyway. Yes. <laughs> so that's that. Everything should be saved, and the game now should not have black bars and it should have a correct FOV. Let's go ahead and run it just to verify that it works.
Now, usually these uh, splash screens here are not in 21 by 9 unless the game supports it natively. Even then, sometimes they're not. So let's go ahead into the settings here to make sure we're running the right resolution. Looks like we are, 3440 by 1440, full screen. And we'll go ahead and continue the game that I started last night. And there it is, so. No black bars on each side. FOV looks correct. And that's it. Fairly easy. If you've got any questions, let me know. And I hope this works out for you. Also, somebody is working on uh, an FPS fix because it's capped at 60 right now with some cutscenes at 30, I believe. Uh, but people are working on that as well. So that's coming soon. And I'll be sure to put a video on that as well when it's fully functional. All right. Thanks for watching. Hope this helped out. Peace.